Hello everyone, it's Miss Brandy from the Shelby County Public Library. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and comfy in your homes. I certainly miss seeing all the little kiddos at story time and I'm sorry that we are not able to still do it right now, but we will be back with you as soon as possible. Um, today I am going to read a story to you through the video. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or call us below. We have support. We have Brandy, me. You can email our director or you can call us at the number below and wait till the end and then dial that extension. It will take you directly to Janet's voicemail where you can leave a message and she will either get back with you or direct it to the person that needs to get back with you. If you want to just comment on this video, you can feel free to do that as well or send us a fake Facebook message and somebody will get back with you. Right now, I'm going to read a story for the kiddos that are missing story time. And I'm missing story time as well. So I am going to read this to you. This is one of my favorite stories to read aloud. It is called My Lucky Day. It's about this wonderful fox. As you can see, he looks super hungry. And this cute little pig, he looks super happy. I don't think I'd look super happy to run across this fox. No. I wonder what's going to happen. Hmm. What do you think, kiddos? Let's find out. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock on the door. <gasps> hmm. Look how sharp those claws are. Do you sharpen your claws before dinner? I don't sharpen mine. He's even got tooth sharpener right there. And claw polish. Does not take me that long to get ready for dinner. Hey, rabbit, someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. Hmm. Look at those high eyebrows right there. It's really got some thinking going on. What else do you notice in the photo there? Look at the photos hanging in the background. There's a lot of things going on in that picture. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no! squealed the piglet. Oh yes! cried the fox. You've come to the right place! He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. Does the piglet look so happy as he did on the cover of the book? This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner, it's a pig roast. My favorite. Now get into the roasting pan. <laughs> Oh my. One looks happy, one does not. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there's just one thing. What? growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know, and I'm, I'm filthy. Shouldn't, shouldn't you wash me? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He, he is filthy. Hmm. I mean, he is. Look at him. He 
He is a pretty dirty piglet. What do you think? Should the fox wash him first? Hmm. So, the fox got busy. First he uh, tied up the little piglet so the piglet wouldn't run away. And then he collected twigs. He made a fire. And he carried in water. And he heated up the water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. Look, he's scrubbing his head. Where's your head? Can you scrub your head? Scrubbed his head. I bet he got behind those ears too because, you know, you don't want like mold back there. Ugh. Or dirt. You don't want unnecessary dirt to eat, do you? Mm -mm. You're a terrific scrubber, mm -hmm. said the piglet. Look at him in there. There, said the fox. Now you're the cleanest piglet in the county. You stay still now. <laughs> He's got him in there. Got pepper and salt. Shake him on there. All right, said the piglet. I will, but... But what? growled the fox. Well, I am a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up a bit? Just to get some more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, Fox said to himself. He is on the small side. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think Mr. Fox should fatten him up some? Get a little bit more meat out of him? Hmm. Let's find out if he does. So the fox got busy. Look, he even ties him up again right there. You don't want little piglet getting away. And then he picked some tomatoes, made some spaghetti, even baked some cookies. Look at that. And finally, he made the piglet a nice dinner. He got some spaghetti, some cookies, he even got some fresh fruit. Mm-mm-mm. What are you guys eating right now? I'm not having spaghetti right now. It does sound good, though. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at all these vegetables that are going in there with him. Big celery stalk, got some potatoes. Looks like an apple. But there's even some tomatoes in there too. He did have some tomatoes. Mmm. There, said the fox. Now you're the fattest piglet in the county. So get in my oven. All right, sighed the piglet. I will. But, hmm. What? 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 shouted the fox. Well, I am a hardworking pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Mm. Could be pretty chewy. Shouldn't you massage me first? You know, just a thought to make a more tender roast? Hmm. Hmm. Thought Mr. Fox to himself, I do prefer a more tender meat. Hmm. So the fox got busy. Look at that. Look at that. He pushed and he pulled and he squeezed and he pounded. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at all that work he's doing. From head all the way down to his toes. Oh, you give a terrific massage, said the piglet. Are you guys getting any massages while you're sitting at home these days? Oh my goodness, look at the fox. Look at all these sw little sweat drops coming off of him. I think he's getting a little worn out. What do you think? But, the piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately, and my back is awfully stiff. 
Could you push a little bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little, a little to the right, please. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, a little to the left, please. Oh. Uh, uh, Mr. Fox? Mr. Fox, are, are you there? Uh, hello? Where'd Mr. Fox go? Do you see him? I see, I see his paws. Some scratch marks. What happened? <gasps> oh, Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Huh, poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. What a bath! What a dinner! What a massage! cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day! Look how happy he looks. Little trickster. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Look at that fire. Let's see, he wandered, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? Hmm. He's got his plate of cookies, he's got a map, and here he's got fox, and it's crossed out. States where he lives, log cabin up on the hill. Wolf, it's not crossed out yet. Next to the tallest pine tree. Bear, house with red roof by the river. Coyote, which is crossed out. Cave under the hanging rock. So there they are. So he's got bear and wolf left to visit. Who do you think he'll visit next? Let's see. Give you another second to make your guess. You ready? Let's find out. <gasps> oh no! Do you think he'll trick the bear like he did the fox? Mm hmm. Let's hope so. Because if not, that means the piglet gets eaten. All right, so again, I hope you guys are saying, staying sane, healthy, and safe at home, and we will be back with you as soon as all this chaos is over, back open, and until then, we will post some videos again, and don't forget that you can check out, it's on the other side, our stuff online. We have um, Inspire and Libby, where you can get ebooks and magazines and stuff and oh e audiobooks of course uh don't forget to check those out and again if you have any questions be sure to contact us through email call facebook messenger or co comment below and we will see you soon i hope you guys have a wonderful day and try to stay sane through it all we will talk to you later bye